All right, it's Monty. We're going to be doing a grill night tonight. Burgers and hot dogs. Let me show you how we get down. Haven't started the grill yet. Let me show you what we uh, plan on putting on it, though. Of course, the onions are chopped up. Hot dogs, hamburgers, salt and pepper, onion, or I mean garlic, Tony Paco's chili dog, fresh onion, we got the vegetables, jalapenos, onions, that's going to go on the grill with the chupacabra, lightly oiled, seasoned. Alright guys, let's go set up that. Alright, <clears throat> I went ahead and added some potatoes, those are like some yellow potatoes, I scored them four ways. And then boiled them up and then put some rotisserie chicken seasoning on them. Alright, now we gotta figure out. I got two burners going. I think I might just switch it down to one burner. It's a pretty windy day. Not the most idea grilling, but uh, we'll make it work. Alright, here, check me out. Um, let's get these burgers. Let's get these potatoes. Idea, we'll put the potatoes over the on burner so they will get the most heat to them. Oh, we're going to save this juice right there for the uh, later on. We'll baste, the, baste those things too. Alright, so now we want to do, we want to get that chili up on the top rack. This is going to be a low one slow cook on the chili. I made a makeshift aluminum bowl. Hopefully that. Pretty sure that should stick together. A little sketchy, but I want my hot dogs on the farthest end. I want my burgers right next to those potatoes. You see where I'm going? Going with this? Alright. Uh, give me a sec. Let me get all this stuff on. I'll be right back. I'll show you. All right, so this is an art form and a science. I have one burner going right here. This is my on burner. Potatoes over it, they need the most heat. Burgers, low and slow, next to the one. This is a tri-burner, three burners, I got one going. And it's on uh, pretty much high. And so then I got the burgers next to the, and then the furthest away I got these hot dogs. We got our chili up top and our vegetables and our goodness for the potatoes to save for later. All right, let's put her down, check on it, and I'll check on it in like every 10 minutes, make sure we're not just losing a flame and losing, losing cook time. Anyways, we'll make sure the flame is going. But yeah, this is my uh, expert grill. This is a $100 Walmart grill. They want you to check and make sure it's leaking comes with a five-year warranty on parts so that's not too bad 100 bucks and as long as you don't beat up the thing and treat it good they'll cover the uh faulty parts once they fail all right so yeah we'll check it out all right just checked on the old grill we're still chooching just fine you know my philosophy is when you're cooking burgers you might as well go ahead and throw some hot dogs on there you always want some hot dogs on hand and if you're grilling for yourself, you know, if it's just you and, a, you know, you got a small family or just yourself, grill extra. Because uh, either later that night or the next day, you'll be like, man, I wish I had some extra. Anyway, someone will eat it usually. So, you know, always load up the grill when you break it out. And uh, clean off your grill. Very critical. You make sure that you take your grate off. You clean your grate. You got to get under the flavor bars. Wipe those down. <clears throat> it's every time you really got to treat it like a restaurant kitchen and then the uh, very bottom part of the grill where all the gunk kind of settles and then goes into the drip pan you got to scrape that stuff off I'll, you got to clean your drip pan out every time otherwise you're just asking for rodents and varmints to come climbing up your in your shed and also um like I showed you, you want to or you want to spray down your hoses. You want to keep some soapy water next to your grill, because God forbid the last thing you want to do is be working with a broken uh, propane uh, hose. 
anyways, very dangerous. So, you know, stay safe, stay responsible. You want to treat it, you know, give it the respect it needs. Stay away from your place when you're grilling so you don't catch the place on fire. Clean it out because you don't want the thing catching on fire. All that grease, if you're cooking a lot, eventually it will blow up and uh, start a gnarly fire. Anyway. So, yeah, these are the burgers, the the um, one-hour burgers I was telling you about. Everything in there, I'm going to just leave it for about an hour. Make Just keep on keep an eye on the flame, make sure the flame is still going. But these are going to be the burgers I don't flip at all. And um, maybe I'll switch positioning on them. Not sure. I haven't really thought it all the way through. Those potatoes, too. You know... Baking potatoes can be a complicated one on the grill. Usually you got to, you know, like russets, you're going to have to get in there early, but those are golden potatoes, and they're similar to the red potatoes in cooking in that um, they don't need as nearly as long time as a russet, a big, heavy, thick russet, crispy russet, you know. Um, russets, you got to poke them, put them in aluminum foil, throw them on early, usually, when you're working with a grill. Anyways, this is my grilling philosophy. Give you guys a little rundown of what I'm thinking, how I'm playing it. All the grease that gets that we save from the grill goes to little Boo Boo. Let me give you a shot of him. Ooh. You enjoy your grease, don't you, Boo Boo? Yes, he does. And um, one thing I've been doing for this guy too, little Boo Boo, is with this food I just put a bunch of I've been loading it up with water so that he can. Uh, you know, it was dry kibble. I buy him decent dry kibble, but now I'm uh, adding a cup, even two cups of water to it, so he has a nice thick gravy, and uh, he's not as dried out as he usually is. You know, because I, I can only imagine him eating dry kibble all the time. Just he's got a big dried out spot in his intestine. Poor guy. He's a good dog. He's good. He's got his life made. Anyways, yep, yeah, we're chilling, grilling. And um, I'm thinking maybe I'll pull out those potatoes and cut them all the way through this time four ways and then toss them in their sauce again and that rotisserie oil mixture and then finishing them up too. Um, yeah, one thing is meat seasonings go great on vegetables. So if you're looking for a way to eat vegetables, mm, the meat seasonings, like that chublacabra beef seasoning I use, I put it on jalapenos. I oil up the jalapenos, season them, and they are just so easy to eat. They taste just like some kind of snack food, like a potato chip or something. Anyways, yeah, those are the main things on my mind, just grilling and enjoying right now. And, uh, you know, just uh, getting peace and relaxing. I know I'm gaining a little weight on not missing any meals over here. I get treated well, I guess. Anyway. Boo boo, let's give a little more time and we'll check back with you. Alright, let's do an update. My grill's getting whooped by the wind. But uh, things are flowing. This guy, we gotta keep an eye on this. We don't want him overflowing. Oh, yeah, he's dripping already. Very sketchy. Very sketchy, very sketchy. Yeah, um, this is what I was telling you about. You don't want oil flying. Uh oh shit, this thing is dripping. Tony Paco's oil is the greasiest oil. Oh god, that's gonna be a mess. Holy shit. Oh, excuse me, guys. Hold on. Tony Paco's chili on the grill is a dangerous game. And the only way I'm able to get away with it is because this is on fire. The volume is here. And the chili's there. And then I gotta clean out this thing like heck because look at that oil. Oh yeah, baby. You know Monty loves his grease. Oh yeah. Anyways, there's a lot of extra down there. Anyways, you hear it going. Let's roll these potatoes. Oh shit, this guy's burnt. Oh my. Oh my. Done did it this time. Whoops, Daisy. Oh no. I burned these guys bad. That's the hot spot right there. 
That is the official hot spot. We're gonna have to fix that somehow. See guys, it's an art, it's not perfect. Monty makes mistakes on this grill thing too. Look how dirty it is. Alright, so this right here is my hot spot. I'm liking my peppers and onions. I'm liking where those are. I like where the chili's at. Dogs are going just fine. I like where they're at. Potatoes, we're repositioning these to the top corner. Find refuge for this guy in particular. Let's see if we can put them all the way in the top corner. Yeah, utilize all that space, guys. And uh, burgers. I think I'm going to try to get these a little closer, especially this guy. He's, um, he's our odd guy out. Let's get him. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, we're cooking with fire now. I, I might be moving a little too quick here. We're just chilling, just chilling tonight. No need to rush, no need to rush. Oh, yeah. All right, that should be good. I, li I like that. I like that a little better. All right. Here we go. More time. The Tony Paco's chili has found stability. We are not leaking anymore. But what we are going to do is move to take these potatoes, dice them, and then throw them back on the grill. All right. Let's get them in. All right. We diced those potatoes. Tossed them back in the sauce, put them back on the grill. Burgers are coming through slowly. That's a good sign that red on top. Usually that's when people flip them. We're going to let it ride. Hot dogs, rocking out, chili, keeping it real. Wow. Yep, onions and peppers. Ooh, so good. It's like every time I turn around, I'm running out of uh, American cheese. All right, check it out. Vegetables looking good. Chili ready to roll. Potatoes, those are definitely done. All right, so I'm gonna cut off the. Oh yeah, hot dogs rocking out. Cheddar, dropping some cheddar off. Oh, I guess everyone's getting cheddar. Ooh, we got a little smoke. A little smoke. All right, all right. Send the guys in. Pit crew. Fire them, guys. All right, fire's under control. We're turning it off. We're gonna we're gonna glide in from here. All right, let that cheese melt. All right, y'all. Here's the bounty, the booty. Here's the dirty grill. I'm not going to mess with it right now. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. Come back out here, give you guys a full view of what we have, how we clean this sucker off. All right, all right, all right. This is what my plate look like. Tony Paco's chili, hot dog, cheeseburger, all the fixings. I had to do potato wedges. I built a potato barrier to hold the white mac and cheese from Panera. And definitely I'm going to get a little hot jalapeno in there. All right, Tony Paco's chili dog, no cheese on it, just chili, onion, and mustard. This is what I grew up on. Check it out. Best chili dog sauce. That what you buy from a can. All right, let's get a bump of the burger, cheeseburger. That was the no flip burger came out about a medium medium well maybe or medium rare let's check out these potatoes I haven't yet tried out these potato wedges yet perfect I have tried out the this is the Panera white cheese mac and cheese always very good and a little jalapeno guys this is going to be the last one for the night of the food. I got to show you how I clean that thing. So, 
Check it. Mm. Not as cooked as I'd like it to be, but softened up and sweated out. Mm. That's going to be a hot one too, baby. All right, cool. All right, um, I'll be back with my grill cleanup scenario, and we'll take it from there. Could I have cooked the burgers longer? Yes, but they were pretty good. I uh, kind of went, let the potatoes kind of run the show today. Learn my lesson. All right, here we go. Let's go. I got all three burners set to high. We're going to let that run out for about six minutes. Let it just burn off any extra stuff on there. Let's see, look at that grease trap down there. It's full. All right, now we turned our grill off. Everything just cooling down. This eat, these are the drippings for little boo boo. Yep, we save all that. That's valuable stuff. All right, this is my soap water mixture, mostly water and then some soap. This towel's job. This towel has one job, and that's for the grill. Do one over. Nothing crazy. Make sure to get under it too, under the grates. All right, flip this thing over. Get these uh, rags of Harper free. Gonna take that out. Let us hang. See, it's hanging. Flavor rack. Cleaning time. This is when the bake off does its thing. Make sure to get those racks pretty good. Underneath. Let's get the sides real quick. Get that lip right there. All the way around it. You really do want to take proper care of your grill from the beginning. If not, you're just always playing catch up. It's like everything else in this world. Maintenance it right from the beginning. I don't have much. So I want to take care of what I got. So I took the flavor racks off and uh, pretty much just getting all this gunk out of here. All the thick stuff. Be careful around these igniters. They're very cheap. So just kind of ignore those. Also, be conscious of the uh, where the flame comes out. Make sure those aren't clogged up. Just get the thick stuff that's going to catch fire eventually one day. Get it all dropped out on the floor. Make some wild animals day. Yeah, but that's pretty much grill 101 cleaning. And uh, you want to make sure your gas has been turned off and pretty much stored away by this point. All right, good enough. After that cleanup, I eventually um, just with my hand and the rag wiped the sides down. There's a lot of gunk still left on the side, so I took care of that. But yeah, it was a successful night. You all go enjoy. Try to grill if you use propane or charcoal. God bless you.